Yes, there is such a thing as failure. that the saying there's no such thing as failure is absolute rubbish. Of course there's failure. We fail all of the time. And I'm a little bit sick of hearing there's no such thing as failure. Why do we think failure is such a bad thing? I think what is the biggest and most important distinction here is that failure is objective. Being a failure is subjective. When we label ourselves a failure because something didn't work out, we are internalizing and making that failure about us as a person. But there are lots of reasons why things fail. Things fail because they weren't aligned with what we wanted. They fail because we didn't do the proper amount of research and planning. They fail because of external factors that we have no control over. Let's not forget that luck plays a part. You sometimes just have to be in the right time at the right place for things to go well. And if the time and the place aren't right and the cards are stacked against you, sometimes we fail. But I think the biggest challenge is not letting ourselves believe that because something fails, we are a failure. Because we've all heard that the fail is first attempt in learning. And it's true. Every time we fail at something, we learn really important lessons. And it's in those lessons that we grow and I just get a little bit cross with the naivety of this idea that there's no such thing as failure. It's almost like failure is demonized and it is right from an early age isn't it in our in our lives in our school career we fail a test there's something about us it says something about us we fail our driving test it says something about us but it's never about our personality or our character it's just about the circumstances if we fail our driving test perhaps something happened on the day I know when I first took my first driving test it took me two attempts the car had just had a brand new clutch put in it and I'd never driven it and I was inexperienced and because I was inexperienced, I couldn't make allowances for the new clutch. So I was nervous and I, I lost focus and I failed and quite rightly I failed. But I tried again in a car that had a, a, a clutch that had been bedded in. But it didn't mean anything about me, although I have to say at the time, I honestly thought it did. And I think that's the problem, isn't it? I'm going through a few challenges at the moment in my business and I found myself thinking about this earlier today when I was having a shower and using words in my mind about I'm, I've made a mess of this, I'm, it's not going the way I want it to, I failed in some way and yes I have. But it's not a failing in me inherently. I'm not inherently a failure. And I'm fairly certain if we looked at some of the most successful people in life, they've had more failures than they've had successes. But they haven't allowed those failures to mean that they are a failure. And unless we can flip the switch and realize that Failure is extrinsic to us. We are not intrinsically a failure because something didn't work out. 
What we can do from those failures though is reevaluate because maybe the failing wasn't a lack of knowledge or a lack of skill or poor decisions or lack of commitment or any of that. Maybe we set out on something that we just didn't really feel fully aligned with. Or maybe we did feel fully aligned with it, but we got distracted. Life gets in the way. Caring responsibilities can crop up. Circumstances can change. All of this can lead to things not panning out the way we wanted them to. So many people had their businesses fail when we went through the pandemic. Did that mean they're failures? Absolutely not. There were external circumstances that had such a, a big impact that was outside of their control. Other reasons why things might fail, we may just not have the knowledge at the time to make them a success. Maybe we're just not committed enough to making it happen. Maybe we didn't do enough research. But this is all just feedback that we can use moving forward. So this isn't a very long video. I'm um, just sharing my musings really on this rather breezy <laughs> Sunday as I'm walking around Eastern Ward Gardens in Lincolnshire. I just, I don't know, who maybe you needed to hear this today, who maybe is feeling like things aren't working the way they want them to, and they're internalizing that as they're the failure. You're not a failure. You're not a failure. Failure isn't a character trait. It's an external set of circumstances. So whatever it is you're feeling like you've failed at, that's okay. Maybe just take an objective look at what could be learned from that experience. I'll leave it there for now. Talk to you soon.